Hello student, hope all of you are fine. Today I am going to discuss uh, major 2018-31, that means paper uh, 3. Uh, we both report I am going to discuss. This is my duplicate copy of that file. So this is my question paper. This is your question paper and first question about evidence. Task 1. So evidence document, open the file j1831 evidence.rtf. Make sure your name, center number, candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document by placing this detail in the header. So what you are going to do, first you have to open evidence document. So this is your evidence document. So click on insert menu, header. Select second option, write down your name first. I'm writing my name. Uh, then center number, your center number will be for boys SA139 and for girl SX139. So number one, two, three, four, any, uh, some, I'm giving a random number. Okay, now, after that, you have to save it as a Word document. File, save as, and what will be the name of the file? It is given in your question paper. So save this Word, uh, word process document in your work area with the file name J18 evidence, followed by your candidate number, for example, this one. Okay, like, we okay, gave my candidate number is one, two, three, four. So I'll give one, two, three, four. And I will save this one in the same folder, Word document. It should be in Word document. Save. Done. Now minimize this one. Now next part of the question, what they are asking to do. You work for Hothouse Design and will develop a web page for a small construction company called Bobby's Bricks. Efficient uh, markup and style sheet must be used. All color code must be in hexadecimal. Create a new folder called BB underscore STM locate the following files store them okay actually we uh, copied all the files so let me uh, do according to the question paper so let me make one folder like bb underscore htm so right click here inside the 31 folder i'm going to create one new folder so that new folder name will be bb underscore html okay after that what you have to do we have to copy all the web pages file it can be the style sheet, it can be the like not Excel one. So this thing we have to copy. Control C and save it in new folder. Okay, done. Next one. Done this one. Create a web page called bb.htm. This page must work in all browser. We'll have a table structure as shown below okay now today I'm going to show you in a little bit different way which one help you to import the files uh, and like input the files it can be the image file it can be the some document very easily so what you have to do first first you have to open front page you can uh, use your previous way also now close everything then file click on open site desktop you will open 31 and your folder will be bbhtm and then click open and then press yes this is your folder uh, where all the file is belongs to all the file belongs to in this folder okay now click on view menu and it should be in folder list format not this format so this is in folder list format now we have to open one new uh, html file open new blank page and the file name will be bb.htm according to the question paper so bb.htm so right click this one save as in the same folder where, where is the uh, my folder belongs to 31 right so 31 this one in the same folder you are going to write down the file name bb capital b save so it is bb.htm now according to the question paper we need to create one table like this so this is a pitch table so first we have to uh, uh, first we have to understand that how many columns and how many rows is there so we have three columns and four rows one two three four so now here what you have to do here what you have to do um, here what you have to do first you have to understand that how many columns and how many rows is there here we have three rows uh, and four col uh, sorry we have four rows one two three four and three columns now 
another thing when you are going to create some table in the um, HTML file that uh, you have to understand what is the width of the table you have to change the width of the table what is the maximum space of for the width you know the dimension you know, first values belongs to width and second value belongs to height and you, you can check one thing here row number two this is row number one this is row number two consists the maximum width right so this one will be the width of the table so this table should consist three column four rows and width of the table will be 1200 uh, pixel whether it is pixel it is written here clearly so the web page must know uh, uh, must work in all browser all browser and we'll have a table structure shown below each table cell uh, is defined with a letter and dimension are in pixel so dimension should be in pixel okay so let me uh, create one table so table insert table so a uh, number of column will be your number of row will be four and number of column will be three and what will be the width in pixel so it should be 1200 so you are changing the width of the table so you have to clear uh, first you have to uh, keep it uh, in your mind this one if this type of question comes first you measure the table width okay and if it is in pixel you have to click here in pixel and 1200 done now we have to design the table according to the question paper so if you check the table the first row consists three cell second and fourth uh, is merge so you have to what you have to do second one block this one right click marcel third one right click marcel and the fourth one fourth row it is divided by uh, into two cell but basically we have uh, it is divided by two column or two cell but basically this table we have three columns so the measurement should be perfect it should be the division should be in the middle part right so left side should be 600 by 300 and 600 right side also 300 that means you have to define this one as a two column not three column in the last row so what you will do first first you will block the whole row and right click and marcel after that right click over the cell selected cell and split cell split cell this dialog box will come split into column or split into row so it should be split into column right we want to make how many column two column this is okay now you can see it is divided into uh, in, in equal position like equal size dimension you can say we have to change the dimension now now according to the question paper first row each and every cell is 400 by 300 so with this 400 300 is height so right click over the cell cell properties specific width specific height so it should be 400 it should be 300 apply okay right click cell properties specific width specific height it should be 400 and it should be 300 apply okay right click sorry specific with uh, cell properties in pixel in pixel okay apply okay the third one right click cell properties specific with specific height it should be 400 and this one should be 300 apply okay now next one if you check this one this is 1200 with this 1200 height is 250 so 1200 already mentioned so what you'll do first you will just right click over the cell right click format uh, cell properties specific not with specific height because we with already we mentioned the table width and this cell width is same 1200 250 so here also right click cell properties specific width specific height it should be specific height 150 if i'm not wrong yes 150 okay apply okay now this one right click cell properties specific width specific height it should be 600 by 300 yes with a 600 height is 300 okay apply okay now right click here also cell properties specific width specific height this is 600 
and this is 300 apply okay done now next one <coughs> this part is over the external table border must be ha uh, must have a width of 4 pixel and the internal grid line must have a width of 2 pixel you know that external and internal what does it mean external means it, it should be under table and internal means it should be under td right so this thing we cannot define here we have to define this one into st in style sheet when we will do the style sheet place in, in cell a the image brickworks.jpg so cell a means the first one this one now it should be the bricks dot uh, brick work dot jpg so uh, why i define this one uh, into folder list so it will be easy to import any file so brick one dot jpg or brick work dot jpg so just uh, select this one and drag it here just select this one and drag it uh, drag it here so it's very easy no need to click and in, uh, in any menu like next one next part of this question Mm, place the mm, in cell B the text click on an image for the further details. So you have to um, you have to keep your cursor pointer here and paste it. And next one, next one should be next one should be it should be uh, style H2. It should be H2. should be a student it should okay done this part next one what they're asking uh, next part of this question uh, please in uh, cell see the image uh, pairing dot jpg so same process take this image drag it and put it over here now after that what they're asking to resize the image um, uh, in the markup so so that it is 394 pixel wide and maintain the aspect ratio so right click over the picture then picture properties and then uh, you have to uh, you have to check this one whether it is clicked or not keep aspect ratio because they may ask you to uh, keep aspect ratio maintain the aspect ratio so it should be 394 so what does it mean maintain aspect ratio so if you change the width automatically height will be changed okay done next one place in d image b blocks dot jpg so here this is d b blocks oh, where is b blocks b blocks or b block yes a bb logo sorry not b blocks bb logo dot jpg so drag it and put it over here so easy to import the files if you uh, if you arrange your file in uh, folder list option way and then next one this is the logo of the company which appeared uh, on the company uh, vehicles uh, letterhead etc make the, this image a hyperlink to open a web page called bb uh, contact.htm uh, in a new browser window called underscore new so right click over this one hyperlink it should open the web page right uh, make sure the image hyperlink open a web page call okay so existing file or web page so what will be the name of the web page contact.htm contact bb contact so it is here and then it should open a new browser window called new so target frame so new window instead of this blank it should be new underscore new and then press okay 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 done now next one place in e the text from the uh, bb text one dot txt save this text as h1 so this is our e and bb text one so first you have to open bb text one so this is your text one copy this text Control c and put it here Control v and it should be h1 it should be head under heading one so mention heading one done now next one place in f the text file from text two dot text so what i will do text one i will click close first open text two 
and where I have to put it um, place in F cell F so cell F means the down left side one here we have to put the text from BB text 2 so copy one first line copy first line here you have to be little bit careful like here after copying paste it here now it will show you this logo right uh, some option it will show so click here and keep text only mention keep text only and next one next one next line copy and paste it here sorry paste it here and what you have to do set the uh, text we will undertake building project in other origins uh, of the world as H2 oh before that add your name center number and candidate number to the end of the text so after this text you have to write down your name you have to write your name comma center number sa 139 for voice and candidate number 1234 set the text this one should be h2 and next one should be h3 so this one should be h2 and this one should be h3 okay after that make only the text hothouse design a hyperlink to web page called this one okay hothouse design hothouse design this one right click hyperlink uh, it should be web page um, web page you have to copy this line design it came here code.uk so last one should not be there <coughs> okay and which should be uh, set up open in same browser window same window right same browser window so what you have to do target frame same uh, same frame and they ask for any name no then press ok ok done now next one place in G the image of uh, map provided so click here and this is the map drag it and put it here done now next one center align the table in the browser so right click table properties alignment should be center done ok next one Attach the style sheet bb style uh, dot css to your web page and the bb contact uh, contact dot htm okay so for and contact dot htm okay that means you have to attach one style sheet so where is this style sheet dot css so where is dot css this one bb styles just drag it and put it over here now style sheet is attached okay now what you have to do this one and save the web page in a bb underscore html folder now control s it is already in that location just press control s now it is saved so star sign is not there so close this bb text to okay now next one what they are asking to do the style has been start uh, started but needs to be improved using the most efficient syntax okay make sure your style does not uh, contain any uh, contain any HTML. Open the style sheet BB style in a suitable software package and examine the content. Edit the style so that it has the following specification. Okay, now uh, as here it is mentioned, the style sheet has been started but needs to improve using most efficient syntax. So that means the style sheet we attached have some problems, so we have to improve that one. So in that case, what we will do, we will open the style sheet. So style.css, double click. Now you see the body, uh, background color is okay. But this font is not correct. Area. Because in the question paper, you see that h1, h2, h3 display, some font name they gave. 
so for all h1 heading 1 heading 2 and heading 3 all font name will be same so, so jab <coughs> then sorry then black error itc if uh, if neither of these fonts are available then display the uh, default font serif font so what i will do i'll copy this font name font family should be this one and as the font name is belongs to two word so the font name should be under invited comma then comma space this one should be black adder copy give invited comma comma if neither is available uh, you have to write serif s-e-r-i-f serif and this font for h1 h2 h3 all so what we can do no need to write separately just write down h1 comma h2 comma h3 right you understood i think you understood okay now next one what they're asking style h1 h2 h3 must be center aligned so what you can do here only you can write down the center aligned how to do format style select h1 h2 h3 then modify it should be paragraph alignment should be center okay 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 done now next one h1 must be red with no green and blue uh, elements h2 must be blue with no green a uh, green or red elements if you observe this one h1 h2 h3 uh, h1 have different color code but h2 and h3 have common color code so you have to write separately this one h1 and h2 h2 and h3 you can write together so what we'll do we'll go to format style we'll select html tag h1 modify format um, font font color should be what they are asking h1 must be red with no uh, green or blue elements so it should be red with no blue. just select red and if you want to check then go to select more and you see it is red ff0000 so uh, red will be this component and uh, red green blue will be 00 because in the question paper they mention like that way so then press ok 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 and ok after that you have to press uh, after that you have to press ok h1 color code is defined um, <clears throat> now let me uh, check the question paper h1 must be red no green and blue components h2 must be blue no green um, and red components so blue belongs to the third position red green blue right so third position will be uh, will should have some value and green and red component will be zero h3 also must be blue and no green and so h2 and h3 is same so what we can do we can uh, uh, we can create one style for h2 html tag h2 modify then click on font they are talking about font color so it should be blue now if you want to verify now select a uh, check red green is uh, 00 and blue is ff now press ok 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 now here you can make h2 down after h2 you can give comma h3 h3 because they are talk, uh, they are asking about the same color code for H3 and H2, so you can mention like this way. Other, otherwise, you can write separately. So H3 and H2 color part is done. This two is done. Now next part: all border and grid line must be red with no green and blue uh, elements, and match the uh, and match uh, the requirement of question one. So up to this one, all border and grid line. What does it mean all border? So border of table and border of TD. They are talking about border of table and border of TD. So all border and grid line must be red with no green and blue elements. So this one um, uh, should be same for table. Th this line is same for table and TD. Okay, so what we will do here, we will mention about table first html tag so it will be table modify 
so border select box solid and here it should be empty because they did not ask about padding and here also it should be empty here just we need to mention red color because in the question paper what they mentioned all border and grid line must be red no green and blue components so now if you see the color code of this one so red is there but no green and blue components okay now this is for table i am doing this one is for table and okay 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 and as you know border is belongs to table as well as td so what you will do table comma td you will mention like this way and here another one you have to mention by giving clo uh, clone border collapse dash collapse border dash collapse clone collapse okay now they are asking about the first question i told you earlier also and match the requirement of question one so what they mention in question one question one the external table border must be four pixel that means they are talking about table four pixel all uh, grid line must have uh, grid line must have must have a width of two pixel all internal grid line so external for table it should be four and for td it should be two pixel okay so you have to mention this one separately so in that case what we'll do we'll go to format style we'll mention here html tag then table modify border box and here it should be four and this value should not be there this one also should not be there and then press okay 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 border style solid we mentioned already solid so you can rub this part this part is not needed because already we mentioned under table and td four pixel now this one td format format style html tag it should be td modify format border you just mention here two pixel then press ok 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 now td this one also no need to mention ok mm, now everything is done Now what you have to do just you have to save it as it is linked with the web page automatically it will change the things see automatically it is change it, it change the font name and font style also okay now after that what they are asking to do evidence one display the web page in your web browser if necessary resize so all the page can be all the page can be seen or uh, the text can be easily read the address bar is available okay so everything should be visible take a single screenshot of the browser window and place in your evidence document so what you will do you will just open this one into uh, some browsers this one using open with google chrome now you can resize this one because fully it is not visible fully so what you can do you can make it okay you can keep it like this way and you can take the screenshot this thing you can do yourself okay next um, what you have to do 
Mm. Now you have to check the question paper. HTML code. Take the uh, copy of the HTML source. You know how to do that one. You have to go to web page and then click on code and you have to copy all the code in your evidence document. Okay. And next one. Take the uh, copy of the style sheet place in your evidence document. Evidence 3 will be the style sheet. Uh, style sheet which one you edited that one okay now evaluate in your own words uh, the choice of font used for the web page okay so you have to eva you have to write down some evaluation about the um, about the font of the web page now you can write it down easily evaluation means a combination of uh, advantage and disadvantage so maximum percentage will be disadvantage you know that uh, we discussed earlier also so in the question uh, if you check the uh, your web page so if you check the preview part you have to write down the evaluation because the font was not like this earlier time so you have to write now this font uh, you have to write down the evaluation that font is not visible properly because it is a script font so it is not visible properly even color is background color and the font color is matching is not visible properly the font is not visible properly even that um, logo font style and other font style is same it should not be okay then font <coughs> color matches that is um, logo uh, logo for the style okay font color also matching see so logo color and the, your uh, content color a uh, content of the web page color should not be the same even the font style should not be the same okay so you can write down easily so the evaluation of the web page based on your font style i think you understood thank you if you have any question you can ask me in the um, class time in class time thank you for watching